Photography was crucial to Andy Warhol's art. It was this exposure to current events at a young age that he later said shaped his obsession with pop culture and celebrities. After graduating and moving to New York in 1949, Warhol quickly became established as one of New York's most sought-after commercial illustrators, working for magazines such as Glamour and Harper's Bazaar. However, it was in the early 60s that he began to produce the work for which he's most celebrated. As the most famous proponent of pop art, his earliest pop works depict consumer goods and images from the press. This evolved to reveal his enduring fascination with celebrity and mortality, with many of his most powerful images touching on these themes. Although Warhol's renowned screen-printed paintings, such as his portraits of the rich and famous, have become his defining work, he also extensively explored the medium of photography, created groundbreaking films and produced some inspirational advertising campaigns. You work hard, I mean I suspect... Oh, I just work, we'll just work all the time. Warhol's own celebrity was defined by his pithy style of public pronouncements, often reduced to a mere yes, no, or uh-uh. This can be seen as part and parcel of his desire to be a machine, a sort of automaton with no feelings, no spontaneous deviation from a pre-programmed response, a public facade to avoid having to engage in public debate. But, in fact, it was much more serious and considered than that. He had been fascinated by the ideas of industrial design and mechanised production epitomised by processes such as photography and screen printing. Andy Warhol was obsessed with fame and produced many pictures of the rich and famous. However, he was never afraid to solicit commissions for portraits and would often suggest that he could create a portrait of a pet if someone was unwilling to sit for their own portrait. Maurice was the beloved dash hound of the famous collector Gabriel Kila. To create this screen printed image, he worked from Polaroids of Maurice, taken at Keeler's London home. Now people, if they want a portrait of their animal, can commission you? Yeah. And what, this is this is the this, first yeah, one? Yeah, this is the first one. It's the nicest dog I've ever met. When will you do it? It's nicer than my dog. Is it? Yes. He may have wanted to be seen as a machine, but Warhol's work was the result of more than mere button pushing. Though when it came to the art world, the media and the viewing public he certainly enjoyed pushing buttons. <laughs>